Hello and welcome to my hobby corner again. So this time we have a short quick video. Uh, I saw a thing on Reddit uh, on the Warhammer 40k section uh, posted by Admiral Scroll earlier today. And uh, Admiral Scroll had made a, a base with a wound counter for the heroes, uh, which was a, an Abacus style with a wire going through the skulls. Uh, and um, I really liked the idea. And I wanted to do something similar myself, uh, although I did not have enough skulls available. But I did find a few uh, Space Marine helmets and uh, a dead uh, Cardsman head. Uh, that's a skull, basically, uh, from one of the Chaos bits I had. Um, and I saw someone uh, called a uh, Big Bag of Sand uh, suggest uh, that the best would be if each wound marker uh, went from a polished helmet uh, to an injured face to a skull on the final wound. Uh, the Doom Guy style, which I kinda agreed. Uh, uh, and since I didn't have enough skulls available, I, I decided uh, to grab a few different helmets. Uh, a Space Marine helmet first, uh, then a, a Space Marine Sergeant helmet I uh, head, I think, uh, uh, without the helmet. And then there's the Guardsman. I don't know why it turns into the Death Guardsman as the final one, but uh, <laughs> it does now. So, uh, Admiral Scrolls uh, setup was basically a few skulls uh, with a wire. Uh, going through the skulls uh, with a drill hole in the skulls, so you can move them back and forth, uh, which indicates uh, uh, wounds on your heroes. Uh, so, for example, uh, your lords and whatnot uh, could have, um, what, like, say, five wounds, uh, and you have uh, five skulls on the board, uh, on the base. So I wanted uh, to do something similar, and I wanted to do a video on it. Uh, as an, It was very inspiring uh, post there from him, uh, or, or the person. And... Um, I saw someone commenting that the magnets would be amazing. And I was like, I have some magnets. Some uh, very small neodymium magnets. Uh, and that's what I did. So I grabbed uh, a few magnets uh, and uh, I put uh, some of them clued uh, to the base. And then I put uh, another ones on the top uh, of the base. Uh, and basically you could have a, a wound counter. Uh, for each of their characters. And for example, this one uh, would have uh, three uh, wounds, uh, even though it's not really uh, um, any kind of lord or hero or, or anything. I mean, I guess it uh, has two wounds now that it's a Chaos Space Marine with uh, the increased wounds. Uh, but I, I guess uh, doing uh, two wounds better for each troop would be a little too much. But uh, like uh, bigger heroes and uh, the Hellbrood uh, that uh, is lurking in the, in the back there and vehicles and so on, you could uh, use something like this. Uh. So all these uh, three heads, uh, on the board are actually on a magnet, so let me just uh, make a massive shadow and I can just grab one of them off there and They come off very easily. So you can see there's a uh, one header. I'll just grab uh, the two other heads off uh, as well there Put the guy back um, there and there's a uh, Now All the three wounds uh, so he would be dead basically um, <laughs> <laughs> which is not what we want. And there's nothing on the base. It's all, also I didn't paint, play the, um, paint the base already, but you would have, you could paint the base. These magnets are pretty damn strong. I was uh, I sort of found out uh, and they can hold uh, <laughs> at least the ones I have like several centimeters away and just clipping. It was actually kind of pain the butt uh, to get them out uh, uh, stuck on the on the base there uh, without uh, constantly just uh, flying uh, um, to the other magnets, uh, had to really hold them down, uh, and then glue, glue them in there, and then and so on and so on. So, they're pretty strong, and you could have uh, quite a lot of basing material, and the magnet would still go through it, but obviously having a flat base, uh, but you could have uh, like a, some kind of texture, like the Admiral Scrolls um, base uh, has this like a brown, uh, uh, earthy texture on it, and then some skulls uh, uh, on it. Uh, his skulls were also much more tighter, but um, I just wanted to uh, do a quick test like this. Uh, and then when you, once you return the woods to the base, you just bring the magnets in, and they just literally just quickly... You don't even have to aim, they just slot in like that. Just nice uh, <laughs> slotting in there. Now you have three wounds again, which you can easily uh, come and remove as you want. And the, you, can, you can shake the thing, it, you can see the magnets really well there. Uh, you can shake it, they don't fall off anything. And uh, I, I I thought this was a fantastic uh, fantastic way of uh, making a um, a base with a wound counter uh, for your um, heroes and uh, so on uh, to use uh, during a, a gameplay 
obviously, if you found the uh, fancier models, like here's one of my uh, other models uh, that I painted recently uh, as a test model for my uh, scenes influenced the uh, case uh, army. He's a he's a kind of test base, uh, test base and test model. Obviously, on his base, uh, it would be much harder uh, to stick in uh, anything like that. Uh, so you need a uh, quite a flat base uh, uh, for the skulls uh, or whatever you're using. Uh, for your uh, wound counters. I also had uh, an idea, because these w magnets, as you can see, they are fairly small uh, in the in here. And they would actually kind of fit uh, the rim as well, like sideways. And you could have, uh, at, in here, uh, at the edge of the base, you could have a wound counter. So I was towing, uh, I have some uh, tow, uh, tow models, uh, and I was thinking, like, putting, like, something kind of sticking at the edge of the base here, instead of being the skulls uh, on the base, uh, like this. Uh, and you could just uh, slot them kind of at the side of the base uh, instead of uh, on the base. Uh, and you could e easily have a, a whatever a team fits your army. Like just uh, everyone, all of us have uh, all kinds of bits uh, lying around. Uh, uh, skulls uh, for corn and uh, some um, uh, Eldar, uh, like jewel, like uh, soul jewels, whatever they're called. Uh, and something like that, you could just slot them on the side of the base uh, to indicate uh, the wounds. Uh. And I, I thought this was a fantastic idea. I just wanted to make a quick uh, short video uh, on this. Uh. And uh, if, if I, I... I don't really play the game as much as a, as a like a game myself. I'm, I'm much more into the modeling and uh, uh, painting and so on. Uh. Uh, but I, I thought this was a, a fantastic idea that it could be used uh, as, a, as a wound counter. For your uh, army, so. But anyways, hopefully this inspired you as much as it did me. Uh, get some wounds, uh, <laughs> wound counters for your heroes. And uh, yeah, thank you for uh, checking out uh, the video again. If you liked it, uh, leave a like, uh, subscribe, all the usual YouTube stuff. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time.